Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nick here with BotSparks, and today I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to set up an evergreen webinar funnel inside of Messenger. And the tools we're going to be using today are BotSparks, EverWebinar, and ManyChat. So let's get started. <clears throat> here we are at our BotSparks dashboard. Um, on this, we've got all sorts of options as far as building out um, advanced campaigns inside of ManyChat. But today we're going to focus on our EverWebinar Sparks. So we go into EverWebinar and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the plus for the new webinar creation. Um, <clears throat> when we do that, we'll, we'll have already connected our uh, EverWebinar to the BotSparks application. Um, so we're able to pull in our um, webinars that we have available in our EverWebinar. So we see here we've got the BotSparks preview test. If we go over to EverWebinar, we're going to see that we've got that here as well. Um, so for this example, we're going to go ahead and use that. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a campaign name. So we're going to call this live. Uh, we're going to call this evergreen demo. And then we're going to go ahead and select that um, preview text. Now, um, <clears throat> with this, we're using um, in ManyChat what's called a uh, dynamic content block to be able to pull in the um, upcoming webinar times, including just in times and replays. Um, we've got that already already uh, set up in our uh, settings. So if we actually go over here, we can see that we've got um, we've got the schedule. If we go into schedules, we can look at the schedules and we can see that we've got um, we've got two times set up, and then we've got replay enabled, and then we've got just in time enabled. So what that'll do is that'll allow us to show the just in time replays, the replays and the um, next upcoming schedules inside of Messenger as a quick reply, giving us that option. So um, <clears throat> because of that, uh, we need to create an intro message. Sometimes I like to write, um, pick a time that works best for you. It works for you. It looks like we have one starting in just a few minutes, okay? And then we're gonna use a confirmation time. Um, so, uh, or a confirmation message. So once that, uh, once we've registered them inside of uh, EverWebinar, um, we're gonna send them a message back to let them know that it's confirmed. But also at that same time, we're sending back data from BotSparks to ManyChat, um, including the join link, the replay link, and the time that they've got on the webinar. And I'll show you a little bit why here in a minute. Um, so <clears throat> we're just gonna write, great, you're all set. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to select a ManyChat field for our email. So wherever you're storing your email inside of ManyChat, um, you would say, select that there. Um, save join link to. So um, we're gonna save this join link to our demo join link. Um, for every webinar. Uh, if you've got multiple webinars running, I suggest creating a separate um, join link custom field um, specifically for that webinar because um, we're also going to save that replay link as well. And we're going to save the time to that. Again, if you've got multiple running, save the replay link, save the time to different ones, and I'll show you why here in a second. So we're going to create that campaign. Um, and then we're going to go back here. We're going to see we've got that. And now let's go to setup. And so we're going to set that up. And all we need to do is copy this link. And then we're going to go over to, um, if you don't have the um, EverWebinar template, you can access that inside of BotSparks. Or, um, <clears throat> and you'll get everything that you need. You will get the uh, register for webinar, the starting soon, the replay, the confirmed uh, flows, along with um, these four rules and these rules are important because, uh, they're going to trigger off our follow-up to make sure that everybody, um, gets the details they need and they show up on time. So, um, let's, we'll go into this register ever 
webinar. Um, typically, I personally, when I'm building um, campaigns, I don't like to ask people over and over again for the email. Um, you can run them through an email confirmation just to confirm this is the email I have for you. But um, for this uh, demo, we went ahead and wrote a condition that we just skip right ahead. So all we have to do is take that BotSparks links that we copied back there. Nope. Right, so we copy this right here, we take this BotSparks link right here. You can go ahead and test that request and you're gonna see it's gonna bring back our data. Um, so we've got that. If you're not, if you're setting up your own, um, <clears throat> creating your own campaign, uh, when you're building this dynamic content block, uh, you need to make sure you've got the authorization and then your BotSparks API key. And then for the body, just feel free to go ahead and put that full subscriber data in because what we'll, what we'll do is we'll pick out that email that you um, told us is where you're storing that email. Uh, so we can go ahead and save this. Now, this is all for this campaign. Um, and we can go ahead and preview that. And we'll go ahead and open up Messenger. And we'll see <clears throat> when we open this. Hey, here we go. Um, we'll see that. We can't wait to save you a seat. Go ahead and click on yes. Um, so here we go. Look, oh, pick a time. So that's that text that we just wrote there in BotSparks. Um, so we can watch the replay. Oh, looks like we're starting. We've got one starting at 1045 and it's 1038 right now. Okay. Um, we've got Wednesday at one, Thursday at 11. So it goes through and gives us that schedule. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pick, um, go ahead and pick it doesn't really matter. We'll pick Wednesday at 1 p.m. Um, great. So great. There we go. There's that data we set again. Um, and now we're going to send them that confirmation with that join link to the webinar. Um, and there we go. So I just got an email confirmation. So it's all registered um, and we're set to go now. Um, <clears throat> we did a few things there. One, um, we used this rule called uh, Ever, Ever Webinar Registration Confirmed. And so what we did is um, when this field that we, uh, that join link field, when that was saved, we went ahead and said, um, start this flow. Now, if, um, so there we've got that. Um, and then we've got a few other rules that are gonna happen here. So 15 minutes before, that webinar starts. We're going to send another flow out. Um, that's just as easy as saying, uh, starting soon. Hey, heads up, we're starting soon. Here's the join link. Um, make sure you get here. Um, you can also add some smart delays. So if you want to do it an hour before, uh, otherwise, um, you're good to go. And then we went ahead and also created a rule, um, for replays. So, uh, two hours after that demo webinar time that we saved, um, we're gonna go ahead and send that replay. And really it's that simple. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to leave comments below. Otherwise, um, you can create your BotSparks account, get started um, for free today at BotSparks.com. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of other webinar options, including uh, Demio, which also has op automated webinars. Uh, we've got Webinar Jam as well, um, and we've got our drip email integrations and a few other great things like referral links, smart links, and expiring links. So feel free to check it out. Um, comments and questions, leave them below, and uh, have a great day.